Mr. Hammer, thank you so much for stopping by for this Civics House interview. Thank you. All right, and our first question for you is, what do you believe to be the role of the judiciary? If elected, how will your understanding of your role manifest in your adjudication? Under our Constitution and our laws, the role of the, the judiciary is to interpret the law, not to make the law. Uh, that is, it's to apply the law. If I'm elected to the Court of Appeals, that's exactly what I will do. I will apply the law to the facts of each case, bearing in mind that the Court of Appeals is not a fact-finding body, but rather one which reviews the decisions of courts and administrative agencies uh, to determine whether there is error. I see. Great. And our second question, sir. What impact do you feel the recent SBI issue will have on the efficacy of our judicial system? Should this cause North Carolinians to reconsider their position on the death penalty? Unquestionably, the disclosures of problems in the SBI lab is going to result in some post-conviction motions, which will have some impact on the trial courts, but that's unavoidable, frankly. With respect to the death penalty, uh, the question of whether North Carolina uh, citizens wish to uh, tolerate the risk and bear the cost of the death penalty is actually a legislative rather than a judicial question. Yes, sir. All right, and our third question, what are your thoughts on judicial offices being made nonpartisan and about publicly financing appellate court races? If we are going to have judicial elections, they need to be nonpartisan. They need to be nonpartisan because judicial elections should be based on the qualifications of the candidates, not merely their party affiliations. Party affiliations generally tell the voters how candidates stand on issues. Judges don't run on issues, they run on the qualifications. With respect to public financing, I have elected to take public financing because I feel that it ensures that I'm not beholden to any one voter or interest group, and that in turn uh, inspires confidence in our judicial system. I see. All right, sir, and our fourth question, why should North Carolina elect you to be a leader of its judicial system? North Carolina should elect me to the Court of Appeals because I have the training, I have the temperament, I have the experience to serve on that court. That's why I've been endorsed by two former Supreme Court justices, Justice Exum and Justice Martin. Uh, I bring a unique skill set set among the candidates. Uh, formerly, I was a director of research at Campbell Law School, a librarian, so I understand research and writing. I've tried 25 cases at least before juries and countless other cases in our district and superior courts, so I understand what takes place in the courts which are being reviewed. I've handled over 40 appeals in the Court of Appeals and served on the Appellate Rules Committee for 15 years. I understand the dynamics of the Court of Appeals and the real importance of writing cogent and short opinions. Um, I've been a mediator. I've mediated 75 cases, Superior Court cases. If you're going to be on the Court of Appeals, you have to have consensus building skills to work with other judges who sit in panels of three. Most importantly, though, I have a tremendous respect for and passion for the law, and I'll bring that to the Court of Appeals. Mr. Hammer, thank, thank you, you so much. much. I appreciate it. Yes, sir.